growing up, I never thought that this was art. I thought it was just entertainment. It took me a long time to understand that it was what other people consider art. I painted traditional paintings related to religion and sexuality and painful paintings. And then one day I decided I couldn't do that anymore and decided to start playing with objects. And I felt that uh, every object that you choose, it, ha it says something about you. It says something about your confrontation to life. And with time, I learned that celebrating life was better than complaining about it. So I do work that it has the intention of celebrating life, making people smile and remember that there's beauty out there if you're looking for this. And it's, a, it's an instant of reconciliation with life for the people that witness it. And I expect that people that find beauty want to stay alive because it's beautiful. I remember when I was young, I, I listened to, to Vak Sonata, and I remember it made me so happy to be alive because I heard that. And I, I always keep this feeling with me that I want people to reconciliate themselves with life because they see something that they find beautiful. The whole process of working with objects is like playing with clouds when you were a kid. You're looking at the sky and you think that this cloud looks like an elephant or it looks like a bird flying or it looks like Superman or it looks like whatever it looks like. So this is my 24 hours life. Everything to me looks like something else. Whatever your emotional state of mind is, you can see it on your work. You evoke a feeling through an image. So I, I'm trying to evoke feelings through images and create these thoughts on images. They're very psychological, very intimate and very personal. There are literary influences in everything I do in my life because I'm obsessed with literature. When I do these psychological portraits of myself, I expect that the image has the depth of literary characters. That is, is a person that has a history, is a person that has a character, is a person that has attitude. It's the same thing with animals. I try to capture gestures that say more than illustrating an animal. Illustrating an animal is one thing, and trying to portray yourself as an animal is a different thing. Some people paint a tree, some people paint themselves as trees. I try to paint myself as a tree. I try to paint myself as any animal. When I started working with objects, I started speculating about the intelligence invested on objects. People that design objects had a thinking process, and I started looking at this thinking process and creating over their thinking process, thinking about why they were made, how they were made, how many decisions were made to make every object. If you take an object in your hands, you can see backwards how many decisions have been made, the material, the texture, the shape, the color. So you can read the intelligence that has been invested on the objects. And also, all these materials come back to nature somehow because shoes are made out of leather, cords are made out of trees, crotches are made out of wood. This is one thing, and the other thing is the conceptual thing. Every object has meaning. It's like words. Every object has a meaning, every word has a meaning, but you can't stretch this meaning. If you put it, this object in a different context, the same way you put a word in a different context and create poetry. So this is, this is the idea. This is about thinking. This is about thinking in a different way. And a screw is a screw or a shoe is a shoe until it becomes something else. A lot of people that uh, confront my work think that I am, that I am doing this because uh, I want to be green. This green, contemporary green attitude, this uh, ecologically sentimental statements. And this is not what this is about. This is not about making statements, this is about transmitting feelings to people. I don't want anybody to come to the show or come to my shows and say, oh, this guy is saying this and that. But to say, I came and I smiled and it was beautiful and I really like it and I felt really good. 
that's about it. I'm not trying to change it, the view, the people's view. If we weren't overwhelmed by objects, I would have worked with objects anyway. But we are overwhelmed by objects, so I've used them. But this is not about recycling. Recycling are solutions for, for the amount of objects that we produce and how to reuse them. I'm not teaching anybody how to reuse their objects. I'm teaching about thinking, thinking that it could be used. Not necessarily it could be used for this, but it could be used for something else. This is about thinking that objects are not objects themselves, objects are materials themselves. I'm reversing the process. People kill animals to make shoes, they destroy shoes to make animals. Every object is an open possibility and you can transform any material in anything you like. And now that we are overwhelmed by objects, we, we find this possibility is immense and it's creative and it's beautiful. It's about rethinking reality. It's not a political statement in the sense that uh, and I'm not saving the world through this. I'm just trying to make beautiful sculptures and trying to make beautiful sculptures with things I have and things that have meaning for me and have meaning for other people because objects have meaning for everybody.